Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on and do a quick flash to you, but I'm really nervous. So if I um or I say like a lot, yeah. Um, I'm just going to show my Mirabilia whips for today. Um, fancy ladies, because I've got loads of whips. So, yeah. I'll show you what some of ours at the minute, because I've just been working on Fern, Pixie Couture. Everything further down is finished and um, I've just got a hair and a wings to do and then to bead her and then she'll be done. And then this next one, sorry for zips, is Queen of Peace by Mirabilia. I've almost halfway finished her. Let's bring her forward so you can see her. Yeah, she is a goal to get her done this year, but I don't think I will, because I've still got the majority of her dress to do and all her beads. She's got so many beads. Pam's finished her and she's absolutely gorgeous. And the next one is this one, Winter Beauty Princess from Passion of Ricamo. I bought this whip already started off eBay, it was a bargain and the fabric's gorgeous. I've just been doing some more on the dress um, around the bodice and the shoulder. Um, and I think this is a silk weaver fabric. Just hang on, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, silk weaver fabric, um, romantic interlude. That's um, a 32 count even weave. I am going to put stuff away as I'm going because otherwise I'll be in a right mess. And next up, I've got um, which one is this? It's a John Elliot, I don't know that much. Princess of the Snows. And I've got it on a 28 count raindrops by pulse stitches and that's where i'm at at the minute i am filming in the conservatory so the lighting should be all right but it's a bit cloudy today it's a bit rubbish greater manchester weather for you if you can hear my pug snoring she snores very loud <laughs> and this next one is Fairy of the Wind by John Elliot. I've not really got much done on this one to be honest, but you know me with my starts. I think she goes that way. That's another Paul Stitches fabric. Um, that one is called Daisy Chain. I think that was a fabric of the month actually. I love Paul Stitches fabric. And then this next one is another Passione with Caramel one. Um, oh, it's gone out my room, what it's called. I think it's called Into the Darkness, I think. She's just got a long flowing dress with a lantern. She's got all like lights all around her. I'm not a YouTube expert, so I'm not gonna be putting on before and after pictures because I'm rubbish. My 11 year old's better at YouTube than me. And that's on another Paul Stitch one called, I think it's called Forbidden Sea. And then I've got this started, Dots of Estuary, Bella Filipina. Me and Pam and Cheryl and Kelly and Helen, just a few of us off off the Instagram, we've all said we were going to start this together, but we ain't got very far. I've just started on the orange 
on the orange mermaid and work my way down to the bottom and then we was meant to be working on this on a thursdays and fridays but that's been out the window and this is just on a witch out mediterranean sea uh linen it's a bit it's that hard crinkly stuff that's that one I'm not going to do all my whips because I've got about 90, so let's not go there. And then this one is Princess Eliana and Surfer Dangling Threads. But she is, quite it's really hard to see, she is halfway done, um, just stitching the front end of a dress just above her leg at the minute. And that's another um, Paul Stitches fabric. I think it's called Daybreak. I've got everything written down, but I'm so unprepared because this was just a spare of the moment thing. Because <laughs> I've had a few people asking me if I'll do a flash tube and yeah, I've just been thinking about it today. And then this one is Firefly Fairies by Lavender and Lace. Sorry for the glare. And I'm doing this on a Georgery fabric of the month and that's where I'm up to with the red fairy and I've got a little needle minder of the fairies from Sleeping Beauty because it always reminds me of them this piece sorry if you can hear the dogs barking Betsy Betsy come on behave the kids are playing on the Xbox in the front room and they're being so loud and the dogs think there's somebody at the front door when there's not. Betsy, come on. Chandler. We've got three dogs. We've got Pearly Pug, Betsy Bulldog and Chandler the Chihuahua. So it's a mad crazy house here. But everyone's going mental. And then this next one is Butterfly Fairy. She was my unicorn for a while and then I found her for well fairly cheapish on on ebay and i'm doing this one on fairy dreams by paul stitches i think it goes that way around but i love this fabric i love how how she gets all the different colors in her fabrics this is an even weave 28 counts my preferred and get the beads on easier um yeah i like that one i do need to get them all out a bit more regular though gotta admit can look and lie down baby and then this next one is Bellatrix. And don't do what I did and got the sticky stuck to the photograph. Just make sure you fold it down before you take it out. And this one is another Paul Stitches one, but from way back when I was stitching on Ada. And this is on uh, 14 count Twilight Mist. And I've not really got much left to do on her. Just the top half and the arch around the window and then all the beading. Sorry if it's blowing a bit. I have got the fan on in here because it's absolutely bloody roasting. But yeah, I love her. She was my favourite, favourite one for ages and that's what got me into the stitching, stitching the fancy ladies. So yeah, I love her. I just need to get her out more often like all the rest of whips. And then this one was a sow that we were meant to have started at New Year with Heather and Steve from Craft Stitchers. But as you can see, I worked on it for one day and didn't really get much done. And this is on, and I'm showing you the back. <laughs> That's the front. And this is on a 28 count, I think, sorry. I think it is a 28 count water lily. Or it might be, hmm, actually let's have a look. I haven't got it written down inside the packet, but it might be a C. Oh, I can't think. Oh, I've got it all written down in my book. And this next one is red from Mirabilia. But I'm doing the conversion for her to go to purple. Because purple is my favourite colour. And that is where I'm up to. The colours are at, sorry, dangling threads. 
yeah she's just on a plain white because i just wanted her to stand out off the fabric so she's just on a plain white even weave that's why i got even weave i love it i don't know how i just said i am putting everything away as i go because otherwise i'll be in a right bloody state because this box is just full of my fancy lady whips and it's a little bit crazy this next one is Enchanted Mermaid and she is stitched on uh, a 32 count Wisteria Linen by Paul Stitches and I have started at the top with her um, but she's it's probably hard to see but she saw the it's all pull fabric so it is really sparkly but I think she should be called Queen Mermaid because she's in the, the poses of the Queen's all the other seasonal queens um i'm just getting into the blue of a dress like a bodice now but yeah that fabric is absolutely gorgeous chandler come here baby am i crying this is little man chandler chihuahua he's just so missing daddy aren't you daddy's working away this weekend and he just gets really sad when daddy's not here, don't you? So he's been sat with me all weekend having cuddles, aren't you, babes? Go on, darling. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to sit with me. Go on, then. I'm going to sit there, baby. Yes. So this box, I keep everything in my Calax unit in the front room because there's not enough room in the conservatory um, for a mall. But the conservatory is a child free zone. And the kids have the, the front room and they can have all their Xboxes on and be as loud as they want so I can watch Floss Tube and all the other things I want to watch. This is Titania, another dangling thread, sorry, I'm useless here, aren't I? Another dangling thread, that's Titania. She's on a 28 count Opal Brittany uh, by Jodry. I should bring her a bit closer because you can't really see how sparkly she is. She's gorgeous. That's all blending filament and it's just beautiful. And that is on a Fabric of the Month Raspberry Matcha Mousse. And I should really get all these done because I've got all the bloody beads and everything for them. Just like a magpie, I get just distracted with shiny things, shiny new things. This next one, I started it for Cheryl's birthday. She was doing a, a mermaid sal for, for a 40th on Instagram. And I did one day on it and not touched it again since. In true Hannah fashion. And this is on a 32 count unnamed fabric by Fabrics by Crafty, Crafty Kate. lovely it's sea flora by nora corbett or it will be when i've stitched a bit more <laughs> my pile's getting bigger outside me and this next one is another nora corbett and it's witching hour from the bewitching pixies and this fabric is an unnamed fabric by Megan at Coffee Crafts. I got it in the raffle for the prizes at one of the retreats that we went to. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. The modeling is amazing. It's like a pinky, a pinky gray. It's gorgeous. But yeah, I should stitch that because it's literally like four or five colors. It's amazing. And she's got, yeah, I've seen Kitchy Whips and she's done two together and they're absolutely gorgeous. That's that one. And the next one, <laughs> I was meant to have started this for Lynn, the Lancashire Stitchers um, seasonal sale. But I didn't, I didn't. And I'm in a mess here with all these bumming dangling threads and whatnot. Let me just sort it out a bit. I've only done a little bit at the bottom of a dress 
to start. Oh, you need to mind us doing funny things. Where are we? There we go. Just a little bit of the blue at the bottom of a dress. And this is, it's like a grey purple modelling on the fabric. Yeah, that's about right. Um, and that's another Paul Stitches fabric, I think. Let's have a look. It's called Cracked Ice, and that's a 28 count even weave. Let's have a look. And this one is Royal Games. I think it's Royal Games 2 off the top of my head, I think. Let's have a see if I've got the note in here. I just write little notes to myself. <laughs> So I don't keep my charts in the bags unless they're like a, um, a Bella Filipina ones. I just don't want to damage the um, the sleeves on the Mirabilia ones because they don't seem to be on as good paper anymore and, and they, they crease really easy. And this is just on a 28 count job limb. And I can't remember which way around I stitched on this. <laughs> I've not touched it since I started it. And that black line is just the middle, the middle of the fabric. And I've just been working on the black part of the, the queen on the playing card. That's just a plain, a plain white fabric. Most of my bags are just these cheap, cheapy bags from Amazon. Not that many bloody whips. Cost what it cost me a fortune. This one is another whip that I well, it was a kit that I bought off eBay. Um, and it's the Millennium Angel. When I went to Kitty Stitcher, hi Kerry, um, Kerry's house, she's got this finished on the wall, and I'd never seen it before, and it's absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, I love it that much that I've done next to now on it. And this is another silk weaver fabric and it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a linen, I think, I believe. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, a 32 count Belfast Blueberry Delight by Silk Weaver. And that's, that's showing about right there. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Love it. And this one is Lady of the Mist. I haven't done much on her. I started her on a whim because I got a big piece of fabric from Jodrie. I asked I asked Michelle for um, the largest cut that she does um, for this month because I just really, really like the colour of the fabric. So that is where I'm up to. I've literally started in the middle. I can't see. I've literally started in the middle. Um, and then let me fold it up a bit better. Literally started in the middle and then worked that, that bit there's a, the start of a glove down her arm. Um, yeah, but the fabric's stunning. It's like blues and purples. And that one is called, that one's called Iced Sherbet. And that was another fabric of the month. I've been in a few Fabric of the Month clubs. I've done Jodrie, I've done um, Paul Stitches, I've done um, Chromatic Alchemies, um, but at the minute I've just curbed it because I've got that much fabric, that many whips, that much fabric, it's just, it's just going mad. I ain't got enough room for all this bloody stash. And then this one is, well, it's meant to be Sleeping Beauty. Um, but that, that is my start in the bottom corner. Sleeping Beauty by Mirabilia. Another Lord of Hanging Threads. And this is just a 32 count sky blue even weave. The dog's trying to find somewhere to sit on the sofa and she can't because I've got all my stuff there. And this next one is Sun Goddess by Mirabilia. And I got this as a K 
kit from um, Hawkins Hobbies and you have to have a matching needle minder so it is the tarot card of the sun if you can see it without all the glare so yeah she's just on I think it's a touch of pink um, it's not so I got it's a witch out fabric and I started in the middle and worked my way up to the top and then I'm starting to come back down but I did switch out um, it, it's calls for I don't know what they are actually is it those light, light effects or something oh they're awful I call them like the devils I like Krynik and I like Rainbow Gallery but that is bloody awful yeah that is horrible so I swapped that out to two Krynik's um, and it's much better much much easier it doesn't yeah it doesn't fray as much it's just what you prefer and i prefer petite treasure braid or crinic and if anything calls for number eight braid i always swap it to number four just because you ain't getting that number eight braid through it's too thick it's horrible um right what's next this one is Queen Mermaid. Oh, my zip stuck. And she is on a 28 count opal, even weave, called Galaxy by Georgia. I did start this on a green fabric, um, but she blended in too much. And that's where I am. And this fabric is beautiful. Kerry gifted me this fabric and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like dark purples and pinks and peachy colours. It's beautiful. But yeah, that's where I am. I started in the middle and not worked on her since. This next one's Royal Holiday. Um, I started her uh, just before Christmas last year. I saw Lynn the Lancashire Stitchers um, sell what she was doing and I just knew I had to do it because it, it, she's just beautiful. Uh, and I started at the bottom of a dress, another hanging thread, sorry. Um, and it's just on 32 count raw opal linen by Zweigart. And that's where I am. And then I started on a lot of other sales and then it was my birthday and she just got put away and not been touched since. That's that one. This next one is Lady Alexandra by Mirabilia. All these zips, they're all stuck. And she is almost half done. Sorry for all the creases, I'm not ironing my fabrics. I don't leave in ironing them until you frame them. Yeah, she's just beautiful. She's another one of my favourites. It's really hard to see this. Yep, I love her. She is on, let me find a piece of paper. She is on, a, I've never heard of this company before. I bought the kit off eBay. Uh, it's 28 Count Jubilee and it's Kiwi Illusions in the colourway Twilight. And it's really thick, the fabric, it's it's really nice to stitch on. But I've never even heard of that company before. And I'm, do you know that Lauren Cross Stitch Bunny bought a load of um, the, the kits off eBay after I told her about them as well? Sorry, not sorry. Then this one, this one is uh, Villa Mirabilia. And I started this one for my birthday because I was 30 last year on New Year's Eve and that is my progress that is it that little bit there it's got so many colours in a dress it's absolutely beautiful and I don't think I'm going to stitch the urn the call for fabric you can't get it anymore um, I, th I think let me have a look I'm sure I've got the fabric colour what I got I got the fabric for this from Mary at Create Nostalgia. No, I've not got the I've not got it. I think it's a water lily. 32 count. No, it's not, it's 28 count. 28 count um water lily. 
by Witchell. Mary's got loads of fabric. I've, I've yet to get there in person, but Pam and Lisa say it's absolutely amazing. Her fabric wall. And then this one is the Lunar Moth by Nora Corbett. And this, this one is beautiful. The fabric is so swirly and mottled, it's gorgeous. I'm nearly halfway done with her. I've just got to do the other half of the wing and then she's, she's halfway done. I get, I get so far and then I get bored and I swap and start something else and this is the story of my life. But yeah, there she is. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera as well. I really don't know where to look and I'm really nervous. I'm sure I'll get better. Um, this next one is in a custom bag that I got from the Canny Little Fox on Instagram. She's on Etsy. And it is all Elsa fabrics. And then the inside is all snowflakes. And this is the Snow Queen by Mirabilia. And she is on a 28 count, let's have a look, 28 count Daybreak by Paul Sitches. And I've worked my way down from the middle to the bottom of a dress. And I've just worked my way around the edge of the dress and then I can go over it. And I have only done half stitches on the bottom of the dress because it is called sorry my glasses keep falling down i'm roasting um it is called for the whisper but i don't know if i'm going to use whisper i don't know if i'm going to use that fuzzy stuff so i've only done half stitches there and then i'm going to go back and fill it all in but yeah but my needle miners are all stuck together now and that one's come off great yeah oh it's only a little tiny little tiny teeny needle minder that on the back the magnet um if i order a needle minder to match the to match i don't take it off i leave it on and i know i shouldn't because if it rusts i'm stuffed and yeah and she even put a little a little charm you can see there of a snowflake and just her attention to detail is just it's just gorgeous and then this next one, it's in like an owl and um, leaf bags, this one. And this is Autumn Queen by Mirabilia. And I started this one on a 28 count fallen, fallen leaves. Again, you're gonna have to look past the creases cause I ain't ironing them. And I was gonna take this to the retreat um, last year, the no band retreat, and that's why I've done all that, the outline of that pink, um, just to do some block stitching, but I never took her, I started my new start that Zarina had waiting for me. So yeah, that's Fallen Leaves by Paul Stitches. Do excuse me, I've, I'm in my slouchy white snake top. A big baggy chill out on a Sunday white, white snake top. And then this next one, this is in a froggy fabric and it is Ella the Frog Princess. I thought the bag was pretty fitting. And this is on 28 count opal linen by pulse, excuse me, by pulse stitches called Enchanted Queen. And I do need to surge this fabric actually. That's the only thing about pulse stitches, she don't she doesn't surge a fabric. But it is gorgeous. And that's where I'm up to with Ella the Frog Princess. But yeah, the fabric, I'll just hold it back. Sorry, the fan is wafting it, but yeah, it's gorgeous fabric. And I don't know if you can see the spark. Oh there you go, oh, you can see it on that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. But I've not worked on her since I came back from the retreat and that was 2022. So yeah. And this last one in here is Cinderella by Mirabilia. And I bought this as a kit off eBay. 
um, and watch now what we're able to find. It is one second. Yes, darling. Yeah. Oh, go and get me a tissue. Yeah. Um, it's on Midnight Fantasy by Silk Weaver. That door again, babe, please. Yeah, for, for me? Yes. And then we have a, a club bar. Yeah, if you want, mate. And then that's where I'm up to with her. And again, I've got another Cinderella needle minder with her. I know she's not got a blue dress, but she always reminds me of the Disney Cinderella and that's another opal fabric yeah and that's all my fancy lady whips oh and she's in another kind of little fox bag um oh and she's put a little pumpkin I don't know if you'll be able to see it hang on oh I can't get hold of it There you go, a little pumpkin key fob thing. And there are all my fancy lady whips. Um, but I am going to show you, because I did finish this this year. Um, we was working on this all together. Me, Pam, Cheryl, Kelly. And we all kept each other accountable. And I finished my Dark Queen by Autumn Lane Citry. And I haven't got a clue who the fabric's by because I've just bought it off eBay. Um, like a moustache unload. But yeah, she's got all these gorgeous beads on. Oh, like, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. But I did change the face because I didn't like the, the cold for faces. So I did a bit of a, a mashup of the Dark Queen of the Seas face. And then just changed the skin colours. Kelly, Pam and Cheryl did um, the brown, like the tree coloured skin. Um, so yeah, it was lovely working together and we all kept each other going. Yeah, it was it was great. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'm sure I'll be back if, please be kind. Um, yeah, I was really nervous. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.